The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, it's pretty amazing the wide variety of weather we can see in southwest and central Virginia during the month of October. You might remember back in 2019, so just three years ago in early October, we had a heat wave a few days in a row where the temperatures were up into the 90s. But compare that to this past weekend when our highs were just in the 50s. Uh, it's just amazing how uh, different the weather can be uh, from year to year in fall. Uh, so those cool highs that we had over the weekend were more typical of Alaska, Minnesota, or Manitoba across by Blacksburg, Lynchburg, Roanoke and Danville was certainly nice today to see a recovery with the temperatures due to a little bit more sunshine up into the 60s this afternoon, including 69 for the high in Roanoke, 68 in Lynchburg, 67 in Danville. We were anywhere from the low to mid 60s in the New River Valley and Mountain Empire. The temperatures, of course, have fallen since then because the skies were pretty clear during the evening. Many of you down to the 40s and 50s, including 52 Roanoke, 53 in Lynchburg. You can see we've already dipped down to 46 in Blacksburg. I think the temperatures fall a little bit more by the time you start off your Tuesday. These are the lows overnight tonight. 45 is what we're forecasting for Roanoke. Could have a few more clouds in our eastern community, so Lynchburg and Southside expected to have the most clouds because they are closest to uh, that remnant low that is still kind of hanging out, hanging out offshore. I do believe uh, even though we might have a few extra clouds tomorrow than what we had today, the temperatures are going to be pretty similar to what we had this afternoon. Our highs tomorrow are going to be in the 60s after, of course, that chilly start with the temperatures in the 40s. We are going to be warming up through Wednesday and Thursday. Highs in the 70s both of those days. We've got to watch a cold front though because that is going to drop our temperatures into the weekend. Potentially could see the risk for some frost. So we'll show you that coming up in just a second. You can see where that low pressure system is going to be tomorrow morning. Again, uh, Lynchburg Southside have the highest chance of seeing some clouds on Tuesday. Once that moves off to the east and high pressure out to the west replaces it, I do believe we are going to be sunnier through Wednesday and Thursday and the temperatures are going to be on the rise. Looks like we're back into the 70s. Thursday potentially the warmest day of the week, but then that cold front passes through on Friday and the cooler air associated with this dip in the jet stream is going to be with us as we go into the weekend. Our highs this weekend likely to only be in the 60s and it looks like our lows are going to be quite cold. So here's the frost and freeze potential over the weekend. It looks like the best chance of seeing some frost. Our lows down into the 30s will come on Sunday morning. Probably going to have too much wind on Saturday morning to see any frost and of course it just won't be cold enough for any frost on Friday. If you still have the gardens out, any plants outside, a good idea to take any precautions, maybe even take those plants inside as we head into Sunday morning. As far as the forecast for the next 24 hours is concerned, no frost overnight tonight, but it is going to be a colder night than recent nights are low down to about 45 with partly cloudy skies, and it will be partly cloudy in Roanoke tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if it's mostly cloudy in Lynchburg and Southside. Our high tomorrow about 66 degrees. Here's your extended forecast. We're back into the 70s Wednesday and Thursday. I think we're going to be in the 70s Friday as well, but that's the day that the cold front passes through and uh, the backside of it, you do see the cooler temperatures over this upcoming weekend. A look at the three degree guarantee. Children's Assistive Technology Service in Manita is who we are supporting this month. Forecast for today was 66, the high 69. So just barely got the three degree parameters and we have gotten it every day so far in October. So okay. $30. Going to hope for some more hundreds this month uh, and hoping for a good month for the charity, of course. Yeah, we always want to do that. We want to get the temperature just right, and we want it to be warm and sunny. And we were happy and, about the and weather and today, after, for You sure. know, it was very nice, yes. especially after yesterday. Absolutely. Wow.